Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take your entire Logic stock library and move it onto an external hard drive, leaving more space on your internal hard drive. So let's get straight to it. As you can see right here, I got everything installed and it's pretty much, I think, about 70 gigs worth of stuff that we can free up on our hard drive. All right, so the first thing that we gotta do is copy over the entire content library from our main hard drive over to our external hard drive, which is over here. So to do that, we're gonna go to the top and click go. We're gonna go to our computer over here, Macintosh HD. We're gonna go to library, application support. We're gonna scroll down to logic. And this is all the stuff that we have to copy over. So next over on our external hard drive over here, I already created up my folders that I wanna set it up as. So it's under sound library, under logic content. And we're gonna create another folder here called logic. So I'm gonna keep the same sort of schematics. I'm gonna open up that folder and I'm gonna select all. I'm gonna copy all this over to my external hard drive. All right, so now that we got everything copied over over here, all we have to do is simply select all of this and we're gonna go ahead and trash this. We don't need it any longer. The one that is on our internal hard drive. Move to trash. All right, so actually I should have just trashed this entire logic folder instead of selecting that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trash this as well. It's gonna to have to enter in your password to delete that since this is a folder in application support. So now that that is deleted, we are moving on to our next step. And that next step is to open up Apple's terminal program right here. Now this looks like some crazy coding program that we're gonna enter into, but uh, it's really not that hard. It's very simple. You just gotta follow a couple steps and uh, you'll be good to go. What we're gonna do here in terminal is create a symbolic link. And that symbolic link is gonna link the logic folder within our internal hard drive to our logic folder on our external hard drive. It's essentially an alias folder on steroids. and It's a lot better than using an alias folder when working with logic content on an external hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, type in the following. Now be sure to type this in exactly as I am doing so. So let's go ahead and type in sudo space dash s. It's gonna ask you for your computer password. Go ahead and enter that in. Now what you're gonna type in is ln space dash s space. And now it's gonna be followed by the hierarchy of where those folders are located. Instead of typing that in, we're gonna go ahead to our finder window and just simply drag in those folders into the terminal window so that it'll type that out for us. So the first folder that you wanna drag in is the logic folder found on your external hard drive. Like that. Next you wanna drag in the application support folder found on your internal hard drive. And we're gonna go to the end of the sentence, take out the space, and we're gonna type in forward slash logic. Now all we have to do is hit enter and that symbolic link will be created. And just like that, that link has been created and now logic knows where your sound library is located. If you just want to double check to make sure that that symbolic link is indeed in its spot, we go back to our application support folder and there you'll see logic right here with that little arrow, which is the symbolic link arrow. We double click that and it goes to our logic folder on our external hard drive. So now if we go ahead and open up logic, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to Logic Pro X. We're gonna go to Sound Library, open Sound Library Manager. You're gonna see that everything is installed as it was before, even though none of this content is installed on our internal hard drive, it's all found on our external hard drive, but we connected the two using a symbolic link. That is the best way to go about it, and now you can free a lot of space on your internal hard drive on your computers. So if you ever did want to delete this symbolic link, it's very easy as well. There's no coding needed in this terminal window. All you have to do is simply delete this symbolic link, drag it to the trash, and then copy over your logic folder found on your external hard drive and it'll all be back onto your internal hard drive just like that. So that is it. This is the best way to move your logic content library over to an external hard drive. It's very easy. As you can see, we did it in about one minute. If you have any questions on this or just want to chat, let's talk in the comment section below. And for more good videos like this one, remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace.